Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a rig for installing heat set inserts. So when you're working with 3D printed parts, a press can help you install heat set inserts. The tip of the iron heats up the brass and softens the plastic. Pressing down pushes the insert into the part, and as it cools down, it's pretty much locked in place. This could be pretty handy for folks that are doing a small production run, or if you're just looking for a tool to make this easier. The knurling on the outside of these brass inserts are designed for thermoplastics. This tip is specially designed for installing inserts and it works a lot better than your regular soldering iron tip. These are compatible with irons that use the internal ceramic heaters like the Mini Hackos and Wellers. This thing has a longer shank than the McMaster ones so you can reach into deeper parts and tighter corners without touching the plastic. This thing holds the soldering iron vertically and allows you to press down perfectly straight. This thing feels like pressing a hot knife through butter. The linear motion on this is pretty smooth and it's, well, it makes it oddly satisfying. Just look at these shots. This is definitely over-engineered and like we spent way too much time on it. But hey, you know what? I ruined way too many parts to keep doing this by hand. The rig is pretty modular. It uses common hardware. The 3D printed parts could be remixed and modified if you want to use other components. There's a learn guide for this project so you can build your own. Links are in the description. Threaded inserts are pretty good for making bolted connections, especially when you're securing parts together. Adding metal threads to your parts kind of adds more durability to it, because you can loosen the connection and take it apart without wearing out the threads. Holding the iron straight seems simple enough, and it works fine most of the time, but the shape of a regular soldering iron can actually pull it out while it's melting the plastic, because it's tapered, and that can totally ruin your parts. So the bottom of the insert just barely fits over the mounting hole and rests on top. The insert needs to be lined up with the tip in order to go in straight. I think using a vise to hold parts is way better than holding it by hand as it could be a little shaky. The stick vise is nice because it's got a low profile and it's level with the platform. Works much better than helping hands or a pan of ice. The build uses a piece of 2020 aluminum extrusion and a roller carriage. It's got ball bearings and wheels that go up and down the piece of 2020. It's counterweighted, so it's effortless to press down and lift it back up. There's a pulley and idler at the top for a paracord to loop around the ball bearing. The soldering iron is clamped to an arm and bolted to the roller carriage. There's a little T-nut and it acts as an end stop or a depth stop to prevent the tip of the iron from hitting the platform. The platform itself is just a piece of wood with a 2020 secured to a 3D printed bracket. This thing makes heat sets so much more precise and it gives perfectly straight results most of the time. The original design was a hacked plunge router attachment. Albeit it was simple and cute, the hardware made it difficult to use and it only worked with small parts. Bill Binko put together a nice mock-up in Fusion 360. His design uses a roller carriage and a pulley to move the iron up and down the piece of 2020. I riffed on his idea and designed the parts to be a little bit more minimal, uses less hardware and prints without any support material. Bill and I both went back and forth to come up with this. So if you're making a lot of parts and need to streamline your production, a press rig might be the tool that you didn't know you needed. 